most of the shows I've seen that do focus on the, the paranormal aspect of the reformatory tend to get into spending a ton of time on people running around in the dark with night vision cameras and we'll do some of that tonight but our focus is always the the legends on the trail of hauntings will be available f on youtube for what we what we call small town monster squad but it is basically like a channel membership on our youtube channel and then later in the year it will be released on amazon prime and um dvd and blue I personally don't, I don't dislike paranormal. I don't, I'm not passionate about it in that way. I like mystery and I like ghost stories. I don't believe in ghosts, but I think that ghost stories are cool. And I think that exploring what could be happening in places like this is really interesting. I think the idea of, you know, well, if it were a ghost, why would it do this? Or why would it pick this time of night? Or why would, you know, if you've seen it over here, well, let's test that. You know, if this door slams every day at three o'clock in the morning, well, let's watch that door and see if we can figure out what's happening. Um, Seth and I started talking about doing an uh, on the trail of that was about ghosts or urban legends um, a few months back because he'd already handled big, but he'd already done UFOs and a few other things. And so I thought hauntings would be fun because you get to go to a bunch of, you know, abandoned locations, see a bunch of cool stuff. And um, so we had discussed that. And when it came time to actually do this, he said, well, you know, you, you, can't, you can't do ghosts without doing Mansfield Reformatory. And I was like, I mean, I'd never been, this is my first time here, and it is impressive. I can see why we needed to do it. Um, what's gonna be interesting is trying to cover it in a way that no one else has done, because basically everybody's been here. But the history of it's really cool, and the environment is visually fantastic, so I think hopefully there will be something we can find that gives the viewer something new or something more or something different than what they've seen in other ghost shows. Especially in the east cell block, a lot of times people will see shadow figures, six people ducking in and out of cells. And that's something that I've seen. This is like a higher security area where people can. So if you guys got your house in trouble and they decided you need to be separated from everybody else for a while, it was usually a temporary situation like they're going to be like moving their stuff a couple weeks over there and then those were like, you don't have to go and you're just sitting there all day. Um, and then you have ever been physically touched by something is here in solitary. Um, so there's two floors of solitary. The one right above us, actually, if you go like two or three cells down, one floor up, mm -hmm. um, that's where, where that occurred. It was uh, about this time, uh, about this time of year, so it was very cold. Um, I had on a lot of layers. I was upstairs by myself um, and I was preparing the tour route because we were open for, uh, we were open for a special event mm -hmm. and I had my Kind of my back to one of the cells and i felt something grab me like on like kind of on my rib cage like you know when someone tries to scare you and they're yeah. like that ah. um it was like that turn around and there's no one there <laughs> um so i kind of panicked a little bit and, and you know went to try and find if there was anyone else in the area that could have run like while i was shrieking and <laughs> no one was there um and that was probably the most intense uh like most intense experience i've had Turned around, <laughs> looked, there was nothing there, um, but the noise was still there, so kept walking, um, decided I didn't want to go down these stairs, whatever it was, I wasn't going to get pushed, and so I walked past them, and in the corner on the second floor here, I just kind of like did one of these, like ducked against the wall, so I'm like, I don't know what else to do, yeah. and he said, there's like something ran past me, like, whoosh, like right by the side of my face was definitely a strange experience and like I said I turned all the lights back on and went no lights back around and yeah nobody in the building I believe that there is something paranormal here for sure but you know also it's just a lot of um just feeling the history of the building it's really it's impossible to walk through the building and not feel the history now I've been investigating since 1991 yeah I have never seen an apparition or a shadow person mm -hmm. until being here on the third floor yeah I was sitting on the stage on the east admin portion mm -hmm. There was just me and another investigator. He was in one of the other rooms, and I saw a shadow figure come up the stairs. Mm -hmm. And then it turned right, walked down the hallway. You know, it's like, oh, did I just see that? Yeah. But 
right after that, there was growling coming from the middle of the room. And people have heard growling in this whole third floor area, especially coming from the chair room and in the chair room. Mm. And then right after that, I heard church bells. I mean, how Just do you- Just from the center of the room. Yeah, yeah. I, and I how do you explain you too, yeah. growling and church bells? We've yeah. heard really loud voices in here. It was, it was really loud. And we thought maybe it was you guys coming in. And uh, then the voices stopped, and then it got quiet. Mm. And then all of a sudden, right here in the middle of the room, I'm sitting right there. I was facing it, this way. It yeah, sounded I like there was a man head. in here almost yelling. I mean, it was so freaking loud. it sounded loud. like it was on a speaker. But I thought, man, it started right here. And then it slowly went down here, and then it like wrapped around like this. And I was like, oh, and the feeling I got was absolutely no, I don't care if you're alive, dead, what, yeah. no, I'm out. So I, I left, I left him with all them kids. James, James, we don't go. James, we Any game for me, because I just assume something will usually happen, even if we don't capture proof or evidence of anything, we'll probably get some sort of. Well, something similar to that, um, we were at a public ghost hunt, it was a celebrity hunt. Um, Chip Coffee, Amy Bruni, and a couple other people, TV personalities were here. Uh, myself and a teammate came up, just because I haven't been here, it was a birthday present, you know, she brought me up here. We were down in the shower room, it was directly below us, and uh, there was about four or five strangers, they came running in the room saying, you're hearing stuff up here, so we all got quiet and turned up the phone, and you could hear heavy footsteps, and as you can see, you know, the guy was concrete, it's really hard to hear down there. So we came up here, and at that time, all of these seats were over on that wall. And um, one of these four-seaters decided to lift up, slide on two people, and slam on the ground, which caused all the um, randoms that had frozen before to leave. Yeah. Um, um, then while we were up here investigating that, trying to debunk that, out of that door where the cage is, we kept hearing pebbles being thrown into the room. We actually saw and caught the video a couple of pebbles bouncing towards This pebble was just sitting like... Awesome. Could it have been kicked up by your foot by stepping No, because it was, it hit me in the top up here by the knee. And you said that's happened many times before? Oh yeah, pebbles being thrown up here is definitely common. Well yeah, you were saying that uh, when you were up here, the, before the thing lifted, the chairs mm -hmm. lifted. Yeah, it? right before and after it. At first it sounded like it was in, in here in the cage and then it started actually coming in there. There it is. It just happened again, didn't it? Yeah. See, I'm it telling you. It's in the ceiling, right? It's See, that's, ceiling. that's what we thought at first too, was like stuff was peeling and falling down. But it was too, it was happening too much. There was that thud again, wasn't it? Yep. 